Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Still knocking out that August bonus round. Okay, picking a card. Universe, who's it going to be? Capricorn, you are up. All right. Set things aside. Stand up. Okay. This reading before Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here. At the Fire Sign Tarot table, everybody is always welcome at my table, and I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. While you're here, if you're new, if you like what you see, you can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, even hit the like button if you want to. That'd be super cool. It all helps the channel, and it is greatly appreciated. I need to address this before we go any farther with that. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Decided to pop out. I'm going to put it back in, but some of you might feel like you don't want to be single anymore. Some of you might be in this needy, codependent energy, or you're dealing with someone who doesn't want to be single anymore, who might be a little bit needy and codependent toward you. Again, we'll see if it comes back out. Okay, two things we're going to go over before I throw your cards down. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I just don't recommend it, and by life-altering, I mean if it's going to mess your universe up and destroy everything that you've worked for, if you make the wrong decision, you don't want to trust a deck of cards. I just, you know, I wouldn't. I mean, it, I shouldn't even say that I wouldn't because I've done it before and I've felt the repercussions of that. So really, go inside, sort it out. Two, if what appears on the table isn't your reading or your story or your message, if it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, and it's not making sense in your life, it's not your, it's not your reading. It doesn't belong to you. It's not your message. Leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's that simple. You can take what does resonate if you so choose, but... Don't try to make what doesn't resonate fit. Okay? Don't force it. All right. Without further ado, Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for what is left of August. Any additional messages you have for Capricorn? I appreciate you. I am forever grateful and thankful for the gift that I've been given. And I ask that you give me clarity to accurately give Capricorn the messages that they need to be put to their highest possible good on their highest possible spiritual path. Capricorn, what you doing here? Judgment reversed. reversal of judgment see either way it either way it can be a resurrection card or wanting to resurrect something but to me the judgment reverse is like if it's not digging up out of the grave you're burying it for good you're trying to i don't know we'll see what the rest of the cards i'd say it's a little bit of an indecisive energy to me temperance reversed in the past a little bit of negative energy I knew the Seven of Cups was going to pop up. Confusion, not knowing what to do. Do you or don't you? Do you or don't you? What do you do with that? Energy of indecision. Future coming in. Eight of Pentacles reversed. That don't look good. It looks like you may decide to stop putting your energy into something. Again, we'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. Can I get the energy of the person or situation that Capricorn's dealing with, please? Universe, source, spirit, guides. Can I get the energy of the person or situation that Capricorn is dealing with? Pentacles reversed. Ha! 
house plants out on the back porch. Isn't that interesting? Okay. So I got a new deck the other day. I've been using it for clarification this round. Super awesome deck. Show you the box in a second. Get these bad boys out. It is the Heaven and Earth Terror. Jack Sephiroth and Jamie Elford. Pro okay. There is no probably. It's the most beautiful deck I've ever seen. Or it's it, it's at least in the top three. It's just gorgeous. It, the images and the colors used, it, it's just, it's, it's gorgeous. And I love it. And I'm probably not going to use it very much after this set. I'm not going to lie because it has a weird vibe to it. But I like it because I'm a little weird myself. So I can, I can admit that about myself. I, I'm comfortable in that skin probably a hell I'm going to die on. Okay. Neither here nor there. Universe Source Spirit Guides. Can I get clarity for Capricorn and the person or situation they're dealing with for the rest of August? The sun reverse decided to fall out. We'll see if it comes back. Disconnect in a soulmate union. Sun's not shining for somebody. Could be a Leo you're disconnecting with. I also have Sagittarius on the board if that means anything to anybody. judgment reversed here. Tower reversed. Capricorn, are you in the energy of wanting to rebuild a tower? Did you change your mind? I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. You're kicking the ball around. What's the Seven of Cups for? Why the Seven of Cups? Why the Seven of Cups? Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, if the match just didn't strike. And you know it's closed out, why? If you know it's over, why? Why? One more. Why the Will of Fortune? Knight of Cups. You hold a cup for him. You want to tell them you love them? Wow. Hmm. Okay. Their current energy is the Ace of Pentacles reverse.
Lovers reversed. The seed that didn't grow. The disconnect between soulmates. Can represent a choice. Kind of feeling like somebody didn't get picked. But the Hierophant's here. Possibly they're still holding on to a little bit of hope themselves. Possibly. They feel the connection with you. Hmm. Hmm. That's King of Swords reversed here. We usually indicates somebody has a pretty shitty attitude, but we'll throw a card on it. It can just mean not wanting to face or deal with the truth or being a little bit overly emotional. Hanged man reversed. Five of cups reversed. Not wanting to face emotions. Hung up. Trying to come out of the state of sadness or ignoring their sadness. Maybe hiding their sadness behind a shitty attitude. And High Priestess. It's that knowing. They both showed up in the here and now. It's the knowing. They feel the connection with you. Wow. I don't know who you're dealing with, but they could very well be an extremely spiritual person. But, rearview mirror, shall we? Why is temperance reversed here for Capricorn? That's impatience, negative energy, imbalance. Princess of Wands showed up. Empress reversed. Princess of Pentacles. Two little pages. Interesting. Definitely made some offers. Abundance. Can be sexual energy. Doesn't necessarily have to be. It's, it's action. It's forward movement. Hey, let's do this. Come on, let's do this. But there's negative energy in the past. It's like you knew it wasn't going to grow. Empress reversed. You thought it wasn't going to grow. You didn't see the potential in it. Somebody didn't cause the negative energy. Throw one more. One more. Five of Wands reverse. Trying to avoid conflict. All right. Why the Eight of Cups for their side? They walked away. Three of Cups reverse. They straight up disconnected from it and walked away. Hermit. They had to think about it. They needed time. Possibly they needed time to think about stuff. They just needed some space. I don't know what came first, the chicken or the egg. Maybe they said they needed to think about it and they needed some space. They needed to disconnect for a minute. And you possibly had some negative energy toward it and just didn't want to deal with the conflict and said what you needed to say and... Y'all went Splitsville. Kind of feeling like what it's looking at toward me, but you still hold a cup for them. You want to rebuild this, and they definitely feel the connection. They're still a little bit hung up, but they got a decision to make. 
Ace of Pentacles or is reverse. Somebody's in the doghouse. I don't know who put who in the doghouse, but somebody's in the doghouse, somebody wants out of the doghouse. Okay. Short, sweet, and to the point. I'm looking toward the future. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here for Capricorn? Chair reversed. One more. Princess of Cups reversed. It's the Page of Cups reversed. No expression of emotion. Still can't, couldn't express it back then, can't express it now. Definitely had some passion for him in the past. Definitely saw the potential for something abundant, abundant in the past, there's no emotion. I don't think you're feeling it in the future. Chariots at a dead stop. You're not putting your energy into it. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Chariot reversed. Princess of Cups reversed. One more. Queen of Swords. Taking an honest look at things. Honest conversations. Possibly they made you wait a little bit too long. <clears throat> They couldn't make up their mind, then you couldn't make up your mind. Reverse the roles as you see fit. It just you were never on the same page of the same book at the same time is pretty much what it amounts to for me. Why is the four of pentacles here for the other person? Knight of Pentacles reversed. Finally, you're on the same damn page. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Four of Pentacles holding on to it. They're holding on to it. They're guarding it. They're guarding their heart. They're guarding any offers. They're not extending anything. Things may remain stagnant on both sides. One more. Can I get one more? Ten of Cups. Nine of Pentacles reversed, Six of Pentacles reversed. Well, they're not content being single, but they're not content in a non-equal give and take relationship. They're off to find their Ten Cups. They may be holding on to what little happiness they have left and just not extending anything. All right, one more on that, and then I think we're going to call it. Yeah. Four ones reverse. They're shutting the door. They're leaving the tower on the ground. They're not into it. And by the looks of things, neither are you. Queen of Swords. Princess of Cups reversed. Chariot reversed. Eight of Pentacles reversed. And finally, at the end of the day, you're pretty much on the same page of the same book at the same time. Neither one of you are into it. Okay, maybe the timing was just off. I don't know what happens after this. This may or may not be permanent. But in the immediate future... At least extending out through August. Time is fluid, y'all. Just just go with it.
coming out of the stage of the sleepless nights, coming out of the anxiety over the whole thing. Nice. Moon reverse, finally seeing things clearly. Truths coming out. Leave that there for a minute. Where's my decks? Six of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands. Make sure you're on like equal energies with whoever you deal with. For instance, um, you're the catch. Okay. Capricorn, you're the catch. I don't know how to say this without sounding like a shit human being. Don't, don't lower your standards, but don't set them too high either. It, it's, it's about even matches, even matches. I'm not saying go for less than you deserve or that you don't deserve more. I'm saying shoot for the even matches and there you'll find that new start and that triumph over trial. Okay. Leave that. Queen of Wands, bottom of the deck. Magician, bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands, Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Oh, Tower decided wanted to poke its ugly head out again. I'm going to go ahead and let it stick. Hang out. Towers fall for a reason. Sometimes you got to leave the tower on the ground. Sometimes that's where it is meant to be. Heal before you rise back up. Moving forward. You don't have to look at it as moving on, moving forward. Don't stay stuck. Don't stay stuck in the choppy waters. The best way to get across the choppy waters is to row over them and get to the other side. Maintain your balance. In all aspects of your life, balance sleep. Balance work with play. Just maintain balance. Don't ever think that you're not good enough. Lack of confidence is not very sexy at all. Just throwing that out there. It's okay to process whatever emotions you need to process, but don't stay stuck there. Eventually you got to get in the boat and cross the river. Stop staring at the spilled cups okay? because there's two cups of blessings that you're not seeing. When you're staring at, at the shitty part, you don't see the awesome part. The wheel in the reverse. I am hearing my grandmother right now. As above, so below. Whatever shall be, shall be. If it is meant to come, if it is meant to return, it will. If it is not, it won't. What's meant to close will close. So don't wait around forever. Head over heart. Be honest with yourself. Okay. Pull out of the crystal power Capricorn and I think we're going to call it. 
Do to do to do. <clears throat> I'm trying not to bend these. The new the heaven and earth tarot is already starting to bullshit, so I think I'm just gonna like after this set just leave it in the box and only pull it out for special occasions. Maybe personal reads. All right, Crystal Power. Oh, Three of Pentacles. When I show my work, others give support. Six of Swords. I know that peaceful times will come. Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Peace comes with moving on. Six of Cups, I remember and treasure the past. And the Five of Pentacles, I am supported and never alone. I don't know who all this was for, but if it vibed with you, it must have been your message. So, I'm going to close this one out. I'll catch you guys again sometime, hopefully, before the 31st of August. Because I, um, I would really like to get the September reads done before September starts. That'd be super awesome. I'm kind of busting my ass trying to get this done. So, know that you love to be blessed. Thanks for coming by, and I will catch you next time. And there is always a next time.